disinvestment and disinvestment policy in india disinvestment refers to the process in which government sells its shares or its ownership in public sector units psus government companies so this process is actually called as disinvestment government sells off its ownership in public sector companies to the general public or it will sell it to some private entity or it could be even sold to some other public sector company so basically government sells off its ownership its shares in government enterprises to other people so this is called as disinvestment it is just a reverse of investment now why this disinvestment being done in india if we look at the functioning of the public sector companies in india most public sector companies are, are running into losses and there is uh, uh, administrative inefficiency in these companies there is lack of professionalism uh, corruption is also a problem so because of all these factors most companies are running into losses so the common man's tax money is being used to finance this loss so basically this is bad right so from an economical point of view this is this is very bad so government instead of running the companies it should actually engage in the overall management and administration of the companies of the nation so government is actually stepping away from taking ownership of companies so this process is called as disinvestment uh disinvestment what is the use of disinvestment let us say the government has a majority share in a oil company let us say it is having a 60% share in a oil company this 60% ownership could be roughly about 40000 crores so this is a huge amount actually if this oil company is sick and if it is running into losses actually it is very bad so this huge amount of money instead of being invested in a sick enterprise it could be a better invested in some other area so through the process of disinvestment this 60% share or 40000 crores will be disinvested from the government owned oil company and it will be sold off so this money this 40000 crore it will be deposited in a fund it is called as national investment fund nif this process is managed by this department called as dipam d i p a m in short remember as department of disinvestment and asset management so this department through this fund called as nif it takes off the proceeds from disinvestment and it is investing in this fund called as nif now this amount all the amount uh, uh, in this fund from all the disinvestment it will be invested in developmental and useful sectors of the economy for example it will be invested in health it will be invested in infrastructure it will be invested in uh, education it will be invested in sanitation etc so these uh, huge funds lying unused or uh, it uh, or uh, lying idle in loss making enterprises they are in disinvested and used for the welfare of the country so this is the rational of disinvestment in india so over the last few years the government has been aggressively pursuing disinvestment last year the government set a target of nearly 80000 crore for disinvestment what are the benefits of disinvestment we have already seen the main benefit of disinvestment ideal money is taken off and being invested in the development for the of the nation apart from this some companies some public sector companies they may be running into losses due to lack of proper management due to inefficiency so because of the process uh, because of this they may be running into losses by selling these companies to private sector the private sector company will take ownership of the government owned company and it may turn the sick enterprise loss making government enterprise into a profit making enterprise also for example a private oil company may buy a government oil company and it may turn this loss making public sector oil company into a profit making enterprise so this is actually beneficial this private company will bring many useful things through the process of disinvestment it will bring in better management processes it will bring in a culture of entrepreneurship so these are the contributions of the private sector which can be achieved through disinvestment there are certain um, companies some psus which are simply sold off to the private sector through this process called as strategic sale or strategic disinvestment for example a, a government owned company which is very sick it is not at all making any profit it could be just sold off to the private sector 
so instead of the government bearing the burden of this loss making enterprise we can just sell them to the private sector so these are the benefits basic benefits of disinvestment in india the government through its tax revenue the tax revenue of the government definitely it is not uh, enough to fund all the welfare scheme subsidies and other development activities of the country so we have to bridge the resources so disinvestment becomes very handy when it comes to uh, bridging the gap between the uh, expenditure and revenue of the country so disinvest so disinvestment is actually a economic reform it is a strategic measure to uh, actually pool the resources and uh, divert them into developmental and and welfare activities for the nation so disinvestment is actually a Uh, we can call that as a smart move to improve the efficiency and economy of the country um, if you look at the disadvantages of uh, this disinvestment many uh, economical critics they have actually uh, referred to this uh, disadvantages also for example in most cases uh, actually some profit making enterprises of the government have also been sold to the private sector so the private sector has actually brought, bought these uh, profit making government enterprises and they simply sold off to the and they and they simply sold off uh, it to some other company and they made huge profits so this is like almost selling the family silver so this is very bad so through disinvestment in the garb of disinvestment sometimes what happens is that the precious resources of the country in the form of the public sector companies they are just being sold off to the private sector so this is very unhealthy so this is one of the disadvantages of or you can call that it is a uh, it is a um, uh, undesirable aspect in disinvestment also in some cases what happens the government should ideally sell the shares of the public sector units to the general public but in most cases this doesn't happen because if the government sells the shares of the psus to the general public it will have accountability if we buy the shares of a government company we can actually question this company if it is running into losses we can question them but this actually does not happen all the time in many cases the psu disinvested it it is actually being sold to some other psus or it is sold off to some other private company so the the uh, uh, accountability and transparency it actually misses so the process of disinvestment itself needs to be streamlined in india and we have to arrive at a proper process whether a psu has to be sold whether it should be sold to public whether it should be sold to private or whether it should be sold to some other government company so the process of disinvestment itself has to be somewhat streamlined and we have to actually uh, uh, discuss many things regarding this